I don't know, you guys. I just had a little moment by myself with my cheese balls. My cat's right here. There's McDonald's bags in the background. Don't look. <laughs> Oh my God. I just decided that I'm gonna act in a way that's going to make future Samantha proud. You might be thinking that sounds silly. I think one of the things I've been struggling with is all of the things that I want to achieve and the person that I want to be just seems so far out of reach that it's gonna take me a lifetime to get there. But what if I didn't think about it that way? What if I thought about it as do things today that Samantha tomorrow will be proud of instead of trying to just snap my fingers and become the person that I wanna be in my head. You know what I mean? I need to change. Obviously life has been throwing a lot at me recently and I am not happy at all. Every day for the past like month, I pretty much just mope around. I have gotten some things done like decorating for Halloween. I am scraping by in life. I'm giving myself grace because a lot has happened. Going through a breakup up, losing my best friend of 19 years. Who's over here, by the way? Here she is. <laughs> like, I need to be graceful with myself because a lot has happened. I'm just gonna live every day to make me tomorrow proud. And then maybe it won't seem so overwhelming. Because depression is real. I've been stuck in mine for years. I'm happy, I swear. A boop, ba -do, ba -do, I took a shower. I showered, so that's a plus. I don't stink at least, but all I do is eat, 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 no matter what. That's the only way I know how to cope with my feelings. My therapist went out of town last week. This right here, this, and my animals. That sums up my life recently. You know, I can still be sad. I'm, I'm okay with being sad. I just wanna be productive and sad. I wanna be moving towards something and sad. I better figure it out. I better get on a good train because the one I've been on This is me and Aunt Carol. Aunt Carol is my tune. I'm sitting in a sea of tunes right now. If you don't know anything about Toontown. Ooh, I got lots of beans sitting there. What I'm doing today to make Sam proud tomorrow. I was trying to finish all of my tune tasks. It makes me feel accomplished that I have a really accomplished tune. I'm a child game. Actually, I don't know any children that play this anymore. I think we've all grown up into adults. Oh, the elephant in the room. My hair. You see, I cut curtain bangs last time I got my hair done. They look real good. Maybe not right now, but they look real nice. Can you literally see the pregnancy tests? I mean, they're unopened. Ain't nobody need those. That's a discussion for another day. I'm looking over into my bathroom and the amount of clothes that I have to wash is just ungodly. I cannot be bothered. I'm just letting my curtain bangs sit in this roller for a little bit. Tomorrow we're going to a pumpkin patch that also has, are you ready for it? A petting zoo. If I don't do my bangs tonight, they're gonna look really bad tomorrow morning. That's what I did. Played Toontown and put a roller in my hair. To be fair, I didn't have my realization until like late afternoon. I'll start my new way of living tomorrow, but I am gonna try and clean up my bathroom a little. Emphasis, try. It's officially day one of trying to make future Samantha, and by future Samantha, I mean tomorrow. We ain't thinking that far ahead. Proud. I'm going to a pumpkin patch. It is fall. Okay, I'm working on my patience. I'm not very proud of my pumpkin patch outfit because in my head I thought, you know, I was going to wear a cozy little sweater, maybe some cool and fun pants. Well, it's actually gonna be like 80 degrees outside today. I'm still probably gonna sweat. Which is why I didn't put any face makeup on. But I put a little bit of curl in my hair. What do we think about the curtain bangs, everybody? Here they are, style. I know you like them. I had bought this planner. I really feel like tomorrow, Samantha would appreciate me writing down everything that I wanna do during the days. Bought a cheap one on Amazon. Haven't filled it out yet. You saw nothing. How do I shock, can I shotgun this? I wanna learn a party trick and I need caffeine. That means I'm gonna shotgun this. How to set up a shotgun. Drink. Punching a hole in the side of the can near the bottom, placing mouth over the hole and pulling the tap open. What do you pierce it with? <laughs> well, there's a reason I didn't put face makeup on today. Let me go get another one and try again. Sam? 
Do you think you could help me with something? So I tried to shotgun one of these. Put the air bubble where you poke the hole. What air bubble? When they fill a can, they have to leave space like air. That way it doesn't. Have you ever done it before? No. Back in mm. college, I hear them talk. College girl. So you hear there's air up here. Yeah. You move it down here and then you flip it up so all the drink goes down. Also, it's very hard to shotgun carbonation because if you shotgun like a white claw, it hurts. It hurts. She doesn't have faith. I have faith. Yeah. I'm going to get out of the splash zone. How do I know where the air bubble is? You got it, you got it. <laughs> I made tomorrow spare the proud. Ouch, sharp. Do you see this? Teaching you guys how to be college kids. I did it the wrong way, I think. I don't know that I can open it. No, bring it up, bring it up. Who clicked it up on your table? Mama didn't raise no bitch. That was not fun. I guess it gets the job done fast. That's how you make yourself proud. The best part about being an adult is you get to try all the new fun shit that you want. And nobody can tell you no. I finally made my first five in Nashville, but... <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I just found a goat that looks just like the goat that I had growing up. Yes, we had a goat. And he jumped over everything and ate through all the walls and thought he was dumb. Bitch! Sorry. Uh, Keep him like that. <laughs> it out I feel bad. <laughs> wants what it wants and the heart wants a bursting dr pepper this is the face of a very excited woman could i have a large cherry dr pepper with extra of the popping balls in it those little like popping balls then that's it oh i could have got chili cheese tots no samantha tomorrow you will not be proud of you for eating chili cheese tots when you don't even want them maybe you do want them you had pizza for breakfast the reason I'm having this moment with you in my car, I want to drive around and see what Halloween decorations I can find because I have excessively decorated the outside of my house for Halloween. When I get home, I want to show you guys all of my Halloween decorations. I just want to see if I have any competition and see if I need to pick it up. I refuse to not be doing the absolute most in the neighborhood. I have to be the house that everyone talks about. Like, oh, I passed this house this morning or last night when I was coming home from work, I saw this house. That has to be me. It has to be my house. So let's go check out the competition. I don't see a single gosh darn Halloween decoration I live in a city of Scrooges okay okay have some lights got ourselves a ghost those are pretty I think this might be the cutest I've seen do we see the house has eyes it might take your idea it's like a little cemetery another inflatable a for effort <laughs>
favorite amateur barista is back in action. My favorite segment I've ever filmed on my channel is officially back. A cup of joe with Samantha Joe, your favorite amateur barista. On today's episode, we're gonna learn how to make an espresso shot. Since the last time you guys have saw me do this segment, I have spent a lot of time watching countless TikTok videos, countless YouTube videos about how to make better coffee. I thought by buying an expensive espresso machine that it would make the coffee shots for me and I would just magically have a beautiful espresso. Not the case. Should I turn another light on? No, this it's nighttime. But because of that, I'm gonna be using Chamberlain Coffee Sleepy Sloth Decaf Blend. I would hate to make a latte and not drink it. Let's take a look at the upgrades we've made to our coffee set up. Right in front of me, I have this little pad that I'm going to use to tamp on. Up until this point, I've been using paper towels. Up until this point, I have been using the little handle espresso porta filter thing that came with my machine. It has the doohiggy on the bottom, which allows for the shot to be separated into two. Not anymore. We have ourselves a bottomless thingy McBob, which is just going to allow it to pour right onto the bottom here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got this thingy McBob and this doohiggy, which goes on top of it like this. And you use it to distribute all of the beans and make sure there's no clumps, make sure there's no funnels. I have never used it before. All of these upgrades, yeah, they happened today. So I decided to become a professional coffee maker again. I also have got this spring-loaded tamper, which automatically applies 30 pounds of pressure evenly. I got this distributor tool that I will use to help distribute it more. And then I got one of these that holds this steady so you get an even tamp. Also, I learned it's very important to weigh out your beans because you wanna have a double ratio. So we're gonna go with 19 grams of espresso and we're looking for 30... Eight? 38 grams of liquid. First things first, beans. I've been grinding my beans, but these are pre-ground. We can't all be perfect. So I have my little tool here, and I'm gonna zero it out. I'm going to New York City tomorrow, and I haven't packed at all. So maybe I should have had actual caffeine. I think I'm gonna grind it up some more because this is not all gonna fit in this porta filter. Okay, that's 18 grams. We're gonna call it good for the day, okay? I'm gonna put this little cap around it so I don't lose any of my beans. I'm gonna set this in here. Look, okay, I feel so fancy. Time for our little hairbrush. I'm gonna distribute. I think I have too much. This is a distributor tool. So now we just... That doesn't look even. Whatever. Oh, the puck screen. God damn it. Oh my God, it's all my eyes. Ow! Oh no! The show must go on. That doesn't seem like the right amount. This is Trader Joe's non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. Now I just have to do that all over again. Run, 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 run. Uh, maybe that's brewing too much. I have room for improvement. Ow! If you're gonna judge me for using this creamer, don't. Just for this special occasion, I got this little ice cube tray from Walmart. Makes little pumpkin ice cubes. No! Damn it. Maybe a warm drink would have been cozier. I gotta master pulling a shot before I worry about latte art. I'm gonna take a little bit of the creamer, some pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna add a little bit of this for the orange color. I feel like Starbucks is pumpkin cold foam's a little orange. A pumpkin spice decaf latte. At first sip it was good, but I definitely think one of those shots was sour. Anyways, I'm going to New York tomorrow, so I'm gonna end this vlog. Mama Kelly's coming with me. We're gonna get to see Andrew. It's gonna be a fun time. Honestly, sometimes when you go through a lot, you just need to escape for a second, and that's exactly what we're gonna do, and we're gonna have the best time. I haven't even packed yet, and it's 9 p.m. My flight takes off at 10 a.m. I love you guys. I know my life's been a mess recently, but I will say because I haven't had a chance to come on and say it yet, I don't know how I would be getting through this 
past month without you guys. You guys sharing your stories with me about breakups, about animal loss, about like everything just helps me so much more than you know. I get very overwhelmed, so if I don't like answer every comment, just know like I'm reading them, I'm gonna get better about like hearting them so you guys at least know that I read them. And I know that everyone has to go through things like this in life to like grow and shape you into who you are. All of it happening at once has just been a little bit overwhelming. I apologize for my content. I apologize if I'm off or seem different. I'm really hoping that like, getting away for a week to New York is gonna help a lot. So, next time you see me, I'm gonna be having fun in New York City. Love you, bye.